All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into our next topic, which is shared albums and Mylio Drive. And for this, we have Osiris Andrea. He is our marketing lead. So welcome, Osiris. Thanks for having me, Angela. It's been a great presentation so far. Lots of good stuff. Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Osiris, as was said, and I've been at Mylio for quite a while. I've watched a lot of iterations of this amazing software. And this release is truly uh, something special because um, we've added a feature that has been requested for a very long time. And the way that we did it is what's most exciting to me. Um, what we're, I'm specifically talking about is the ability to share an album to the web. Because there's lots of people who, um, I had this experience recently, so I'll, I'll just go really specific. My mother passed about a year ago. And um, we put together a slideshow, a memorial slideshow for her. And sharing that slideshow with people was not particularly easy, especially when you're dealing with a family, an extended family, because not everyone's using Apple or Android. You have different mixes of devices and, you know, not everyone's comfortable using Dropbox. And we tried all of these things. And um, it was very hard to both share the photos so they could be explored and enjoyed, but also share them in a way where it could be downloaded. So someone could now keep what they've received from um, that viewing. So uh, as of yesterday, we now have shared albums to the web. So right now I should be showing, I don't know if you guys are seeing my Leo, is that what you're seeing? Yep, we see your screen. Perfect. So these are a bunch of albums. Now that's the important thing is you have to share an album. And an album, as a reminder, is a temporary collection that exists within Mylio. So it's not like a folder. You can't go onto your hard drive and go see where all of your albums are collected. So what this is doing is saying, I want to take a set of images or files. I want to put them into a container that Mylio recognizes as an album so I can find them, but I don't want to move where they're stored on a hard drive. So if I want to change the organization of my hard drive, I use folders. That's the exploration of where the actual stuff is. But albums, I can have the same file in many albums and it doesn't create additional copies. It's always referencing the original location, the original files. So there's just one copy. I'm not taking up any more space and I can have pictures in multiple albums. So here are some of my albums. Um, I was actually going to start with this one today. So this is an album of uh, a place that is very dear to my heart. I usually go here in for winter solstice. This is called Second Beach, which is on the coast on the peninsula of Washington State. It's the top, top little tip of the coast. And it's just a, a really gorgeous place to be. I go here with my wife and my friends regularly, and I want to share this with them. So what I would do is being inside this album or even just selecting the album itself, you go into the info panel and you can already see that it's ready to create a shared album. So again, info panel on the top right here, you click on publish shared album. So I want to do a quick check and make sure that I've got everything going here the way I want. It all looks good. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Publish Shared Album. I see this. It's showing me the thumbnail. So I can change or the cover. Sorry, I can change the cover here. I already like this cover. So I'm going to go ahead and agree. And what this is essentially saying is that these are my images to publish, and it's appropriate content for publishing publicly on the web. Um, this Mylio does not uh, scrape this information. We don't look over your shoulder and look at what you're publishing. So you are um, declaring to the world that you have the right to publish these images. You and you uh, that they're it's appropriate content. So I am going to now continue. I will add the one little bit of legalese uh, just because I have to, which is that there is a reporting mechanism. So if people complain that you are posting things that are not good in the community interest, or if someone 
files a legitimate copyright claim that you've used their copyrighted work, then we are obligated to remove that content by certain standards. So that's why there is a reporting mechanism on the page, but you said it, Osiris, we're not screening your content or looking it over before it's posted. You are self-attesting that you have the rights to post this and it is not violating any laws by posting it, both from what your so subject matter is and copyright is. Exactly. So now that I'm here in the publish uh, window, there are some themes. So you can use a dark theme, which is very similar to the look of Mylio. There's a gray, there's a white, and there's a cream. I'm going to choose the gray theme for this particular batch because it's definitely gray weather out on the coast in the middle of winter. Um, and I'm going to make it downloadable. So this means that the web-friendly versions of these files can be downloaded by anyone who has the link to the gallery once it's been published, which is a very handy way to get this to somebody. If I didn't want to make that available, I could turn that off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Um, safe share means that all the metadata gets stripped out. So I don't necessarily want people to know exactly the GPS because some of these were taken with my phone or um, any of the other data who might be in there, metadata I may have added in uh, Mylio, I'm going to just keep that off because this is going out to the web. I don't really want anyone else to see it. I could choose to do something different, but I'm going to keep it on safe share. So then I click share. And this uh, comes up. Now, this is essentially explaining that now Mylio is you know, doing the work to push things up. I don't know if you can see because it's grayed out, but you can actually see the process happening here. So the number is going up of the total images. And when it says failed here, that just means that it's going to go back and try to figure this out. So it doesn't necessarily mean that's in a permanent state. It just is giving you, Miley loves to give you lots of information on how things are going. So now this has been shared. So uh, now that it's shared, if I go out to my albums, you can actually see this little blue icon. You can also see it here on the memorial slideshow I mentioned. That's telling me that this album is shared on the web right now. So as I go back into it, um, I can email a link to this um, library that I've, or this al album that's now shared on the web. And that link opens up my email and um, gives me a, a sort of an example email that I can use to send to whomever. So I can send, um, put in my two, and then there's information here with the link. If you're gonna edit this, just don't edit the link because that's the part they need. But you can change what's in here and then send, um, or you can just copy the link by just clicking this. So Osiris, there's mm -hmm. two things I would add. So there's two reasons why those files can fail ultimately. Mm -hmm. One would be you picked something like a movie file or a document that's not, not supported. The other would be that you don't have any devices that are reachable that have optimized images that can be shared. So right. you, you can temporarily sync to your device. If you can access your Mylio drive, you can select those images and say, download optimize before you publish or it'll keep trying from other machines and, and try to upload in the background. Um, could you guys go over though the, the, um, the author and description fields as well as how to set the cover? Because um, we're gonna be updating that here soon so that like when you do a social media share, it takes that info. And then when you did the email share, Osiris, it reads that info too, right? Um, yes. So right here, the album name so I didn't put my name on here so I could have entered this so now I have my name on there I could add a description so my favorite place <laughs> and then um uh I can now that I've made these edits and maybe there's even an image here that I didn't want to share like let's say um I don't know I really like all these images, but let's say this one doesn't seem to be a beach, so I'm going to take this one out. So um, I can uh, remove from album. So now I've made some changes. Now I can republish here, which um, we have to agree again. Actually, let me do the cover as well, like we were just saying. 
If I click on the cover, I can change the cover. So I'd rather have a cover with my wife on it because she's awesome. So I've updated the cover. I've updated the album name, the author, and the description, and now I can republish. So I'm agreeing again and continue. And that actually keeps the same uh, URL, but updates it with new information. So earlier when I was sharing my mother's memorial slideshow, some of the images were rotated incorrectly. And <laughs> I was able to fix that and republish. And I'd already sent the link out to people. And that's how I found out they were <laughs> updated because I didn't check it first. But it's great that you can update it without uh, messing with the link. So we're sharing again, and it's very possible some of the files in here might be videos and things. I didn't uh, check that very carefully. But what actually goes out into the final share are the viewable files. So now I can come back here and refresh. Or I could copy this link again, same way. And we can view this. So this is what a shared album looks like. Doesn't look like it got my new metadata. Try this. There we go. Nope. Might be cached. That's all right. Web is a weird place. So <laughs> often uh, your browser will cache whatever it's seen before and hold on to it, even if it maybe have changed on our servers. So if you just wait a little bit or you open it like in an incognito browser, you can often get more up to date information. You see here, there's the download all button because I said my files could be downloaded. Um, you have this beautiful gallery. It loads extremely fast. And I've done a lot of testing of this. It's impressively fast. It's a gorgeous layout. I have the gray that I wanted to match the, the vibe of this particular album. But what's really great about these shared albums is that you can interact with this memory. So I'm looking at the files now one at a time. They're much larger. And if there's something where I'm like, you know, I want to look at a detail here. Um, so this is max size because I'm on my uh, computer. Let's see if I can find a larger image. No, all of these seem to be already at max. But. Are you trying to zoom in on the picture? Um, I was, but it's already zoomed in. <laughs> I mean, technically I could zoom in, but this is not actually gotcha. a zoom. It's just expanding it. Yeah. This is full resolution. Um, but uh, let's say this one was rotated. I can still do some rotation here. Um, so you can interact with this. You can share individual images to social media. You could play this as a slideshow if you don't want to have to keep clicking, which is super fun or you can download individual images. So this is a very, very useful state. I can even go full, full screen with this button. So just a really awesome, powerful layout for exploring the memory that you've just shared uh, on this amazing web page. Angela, are you seeing some of the questions in the Q&A? There's some good ones there that should be addressed live. Yep, I'm taking a look right now. Uh, so Carla is asking, what is the lifespan of a shared album? Is it, does it stay up there for as long as you're paying for a Miley a subscription or does it go away? Um, Rich could probably answer that better for me but, uh, than I could, but sure. I do believe they're intended to stay as long as you have a Miley of Photos Plus Ooh. subscription. If you're on trial, it will only last as long as you're on trial. Yeah, eventually, if you stop paying, eventually the data will clear out. Um, so there's that. Mylio does not offer lifetime subscriptions. Uh, there really is not a, a lifetime shared album service, but this is why downloads are available. So your family members and others can download those. Uh, and that's why we offer, you have the ability to offer download options. And you see that on the individual photo or a zip archive of the whole collection. And we will be expanding our photo sharing options for transfer and other things next year for additional ways of sharing photos. Excellent. So we have a couple of other questions about um, some of the other options. Uh, Linda would like to know what the watermark looks like. And then um, where was it here? There was a question about titles and captions. So if you remember, Osiris cleared out or he used the safe share option, which clears out all of that metadata. One of those options, if you turn safe share off and then go into the metadata, you can include captions and keywords and things like that. 
So um, if you don't mind, we can try to do one with some of that information and mm -hmm. see, see what it looks like. Sure. Yeah, you might want to pick a different album just so yeah. that it will refresh clean. There you go. I'm going to yeah. pick one that's uh, small. It's only two images. This will share quickly. <laughs> so this one doesn't even have a cover. Is it because there's only two? <laughs> and to address Judy's question while you're getting that queued up, no, nobody has to have the Mylio app to view. This is a standard web link. So this is designed to make it easy for people to see things. And the only ad they'll see is that little tiny Mylio logo in the corner, which they can click to get more information. But we're not inserting ads. We're not scraping your material. We're not indexing it. Uh, the web page has been set to no index for Google. So it's basically like an unlisted phone number. We tried to have the perfect balance here of not putting too much control in where people couldn't figure out how to access it, but they have to have the web link if they want to see it. <coughs> Excuse me. They have to have the web link if they want to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at those web URLs, no one's going to guess those web URLs. They are gobbledygook. Um, they're like a code. And then on top of that, there's no linking between the pages and there's no indexing of the pages. So these are not the sort of thing that somebody can find one page and then start stumbling through everything else. Uh, the watermark tool will get better in the future with additional options, but it's, it does allow you to put your essential information on there, like a copyright info and decide where it is and the font and things like that. So yeah, Pamela asks, can others upload to your shared album? No, this is just going to be from your MyLeo account. So if that person has access to your MyLeo account, from it, for instance, that you're using spaces and remote control and they have access to albums and from there they can do that, but only if they're using the same account. Um, others who aren't in your account cannot upload to that same album. Um, will ability to add videos be coming for shared albums? Rich, do you have any information on that? I don't have anything to share right now about video. We're limiting this to photos right now. So okay. um, you can post any type of photo file. All right, and Carla's question here about um, metadata, we're taking a look at that right now so you can see what some of the metadata included is when you see it in the web view. Yeah, that's coming very, very soon. It's in test right now. Okay, awesome. So if you'll, okay. you'll have a button to enable metadata viewing. But what, what it did do is it baked that data that I just approved into the files. So if someone downloaded, that information would be available. It's not viewable yet. So perfect. That that answers Jason's question. So can the text and captions awesome. be shown at the bottom of the photo? We're working on that. No, no. Text and captions are there now. So oh, if there's text and captions, that's there. So if you had a caption on that photo, it would be visible. What we're talking about is the additional metadata of tags, keywords, GPS locations, stuff like that. Right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, um, right. Osiris, you actually have to share an image that has captions in Milo, not yeah. just on the album. Yeah, I don't have, I don't use a lot of captions. <laughs> but the people who are asking probably do. So good news, they'll yeah. come across just fine. Yeah, um, I was actually going to share uh, this album in the chat right now. If anyone wants to take a peek at it, um, it is now shared in the chat. You can check out Second Beach. And so Stephen's Jeremy's asking, question can chat GPT find and scrape these? Maybe if someone has shared a sample link from the past. Um, I don't think chat GPT would do anything with your photos that way per se, but uh, you know, these are not indexed. So somebody would have to hand your photos off as a source. And um, I don't, you know, this is not the sort of thing that people could be, you know, training AI models with if that's what your concerns are, you know, there's a balance here of making things public versus private. And Dion, if you want to weigh in, I'll I'll defer to your expertise. I mean, we try to do a balance here. If you can guess this really long number, you might be able to find it. It's not in it's not indexable. And if someone doesn't know about this uh album, they're very unlikely to find it. So you would have to give it to somebody who has access to Chat GPT's models. Yeah, we, we don't have an overall index of all of the series available for everybody. So you have to know both of those two long numbers. And, and how many co how many digits is that, Dion? <laughs> so many. Um, that's uh, um, 160 bits each, so 320 bits. Okay. So, so more particles than in the universe. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. It's not easy to guess. <laughs> so yeah, if I can guess that, I can guess your username and password. That's right. <laughs> it's more secure than your username and password, probably. Yeah. So it's a very so yes, we we you know, we we wanted this so that you didn't have to worry about your great aunt being able to open the link you sent her because she had to download some app and then enter a code and remember things. But we also didn't want you to have to worry about other things like search engines or other people finding it. So we think we've come up with the perfect balance here. There is no index of all the master pages. Each page is unique. And the question about how does it go away? You just unpublish it and it goes offline. So you have control right now. Yeah. Perfect. So um, it'll take it when you unpublish something, it takes up a couple of minutes for the server to trigger all the deletes and stuff. And mm -hmm. obviously if somebody has it in their browser cache, it might show up a little bit, but uh, Dion, within a few minutes of unpublishing it, it disappears, correct? Uh, yeah, you just have to leave your machine running because we unpublish it from your machine. But yeah, if you see, say, stop publishing, it will remove it in a few minutes. Uh, it's not immediate, but um, we have to we have to remove it file by file. We're working on now. Um, Two files are slowly being deleted right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also, uh, if we have a moment, I wanted to show what the mobile experience looks like. Sure. While you're setting that up, I have a couple more questions here. So one person asks what the difference is between using the shared albums here and using it on Google Photos. Um, Rich, do you want to tackle that one? Sure. I'll try to do this politically nicely. Uh, so um, many services provide you free hosting or free sharing, and that's an option. Um, but, you know, they're using your photos for information, whether that be uh, AI training and object recognition, or they're looking at your content and then using it to index all about your life so that they can advertise to you. Um, Mylio as a reasonably priced paid service is the only way you're monetized. We don't take your information, sell you information, uh, run ads, do anything with your pictures. Um, uh, we treat this with the utmost respect. Uh, I'll defer, Dion, if there's anything else you want to add there. I want to avoid making any direct statements about Google. I'm just making general statements that those that provide free photo sharing generally have some alternate ways of monetizing the content, uh, and that content being your personal information. Excellent. Thanks, Rich. Um, Carla is asking if you'd be able to add this link from a personal website. Uh, I don't see why not. Um, is there anything that you would like to add to that, Rich? Uh, you can put the link anywhere you want. It's your link, so that's fine. Um, there's not going to be pages linked together, so you would have to do that some other way. And uh, I see a question on storage limits, Dion. I think you could probably describe what those are, uh, of what the basic limits are, right? Yeah, so we have a basic limit of a thousand photos in an individual album and um, a 5,000 overall um, for an account. Um, and uh, a lot of that is just um, in order to make sure the service works well right now, um, we will probably increase that in the future. Yep. Uh, somebody also asked about bandwidth limits. I would think that would be limited to the bandwidth that you have available on your service that you're using. No, I, th I think the question there is, um, what if you are a social media influencer and you publish this to a million followers? Um, uh, yeah, that's a good um, question. We have our Milo logo on that site. Um, <laughs> so we'll say thank you. <laughs> so we'll say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. That's our tasteful ad. <laughs> there we <Yeah>. go. <laughs> All right, number of visitors. Is there a limit to the number of visitors? So I think we just say thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And that mobile experience, it's very mobile responsive, which is awesome. You know, it's just super easy. People can pinch and zoom and swipe and tap. And uh, Osiris, you know, you, you had a couple of family members that you needed to get pictures to that were having struggles because a lot of the other solutions like you share from Apple, and if you're on a non-Apple device, you're left out, or you share from some of the other services, and it's like, okay, just install these six apps first and set up an account. Uh, that sometimes leaves family members left out, doesn't it? It does. 
So I have a sister specifically who was having that issue. She had Android and everyone else was using iPhone and iCloud or were trying to use Dropbox and she isn't tech savvy enough to really need a Dropbox or have any familiarity with it. So she got the link and she opened it. She didn't know what to do with that. That wasn't a useful um, thing for her to use. So um, when I shared this with her yesterday, it was instantly useful. She could browse everything and then she could do it right on her phone from a text message. And then um, she also had the ability to download uh, right from the download all link, uh, which downloads a package. So suddenly everything was now available to her. I sent the same album to my wife and uh, just watching her digest the photos and tapping in and zooming in and like really taking it in she had a, a whole beautiful amazing tactile experience using this on the phone which is why I wanted to show this off today um, as a big part of the experience is now those of us who've used Mylio a long time Mylio photos we spend a lot of time getting organized for our benefit but it hasn't been very easy to show off what we've done and make it something that everyone can enjoy so that now it's just a few clicks and a short upload away um, from being something that can be instantly shared universally with virtually anybody and you can publish from your mobile device it's not yep. as easy to find as we would like we're, we're making some improvements there but all you would do is osiris if you're in an album can you show them yep. how you open up the info panel yeah, I know I've, this is a little distracting because I have both my Leos open, but uh, I already have it open here, but I'll show how you get to it. So um, you go back to albums, uh -oh. processing a request here. There we go. There you go. So I'm at the top level of albums. I tap into the album I want and I can go to the info, which is right there at the top. And you can already see album name, author, description, and then here's all the information. Didn't realize that was on there. It's a little distracting. There we go. Great. That's all the information. And I, I did publish this one from here. So I actually have two versions of the Memorial Slideshow published from different uh, apps or different uh, devices. And I can choose to delete one or, you know, the one from my phone made it extremely easy to share. So not only could I make it from my phone, which is already set to Space Saver, which we talked about earlier. So it only has uh, a smaller version of my library that can fit on a mobile device. It had what it needed to share the files out there. And um, immediately through the copy command um, right here next to the, the, copy, the share link, so I can tap it to view, to preview, and I can also share the same URL immediately to uh, messages or whatever. And as a, as the, for that space saver technology, Dion, if somebody has 100,000 photos, about how much space will that take for them to store 100,000 pictures approximately? As uh, 100 gigabytes. Okay. So not bad there, right? <laughs> so you guys can fit quite a few pictures that way on your phone. So you can be walking around with way more and you don't have to have an online connection or, or anything else. But we're gonna talk about Mylio Drive where you can pull those down if you needed to and on the go. So that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of you are saying that you're not that the watermarks didn't load for you. Uh, we're checking that right now. So we'll, we'll, we have a couple of little things that uh, uh, with this release, we connected a lot of additional services and some of those uh, work in a test environment, and then when you move everything to the final server, sometimes not everything connects. So the team has been working behind the scenes to connect a few pieces of the wiring. So I would suspect that that would come back online here very soon. Um, I, I think um, Osiris just didn't space the watermark because it's a portrait picture to be at the right position. Um, I'll, I'll send a link now um, okay. on the chat with, a, um, I, I just published something with a watermark. So I'll, okay. I'll, so I'll maybe, you just didn't, maybe you just didn't scale it the right size or position it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I, so, I typically don't use watermarks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Neither do I, but if they're important to you, they're there. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that was an, a great overview of sh shared albums. And based on all the comments, I think I think everybody is very excited to put these to use and to share all their, their memories with friends and family. Uh, the next thing we wanted to talk about with Osiris was Mylio Drive. Yes. Um, so 
I'm not sure if everyone knows where they can find the devices. I know it's one of my favorite things to look at is just to see what's the status of all of my devices, some of them being on, some of them not being on. And there's a few different places. So I know this left uh, panel over here, the, the icons have shifted a little bit. We've added some new stuff like spaces and tools. The dashboard is still here. And if you mouse over it, if you're on desktop, it'll tell you it's the dashboard. You can also get to the information from devices up here. So you have multiple places to find that information. So clicking up here just takes you right to the devices section. So you can see here that um, my Mac Studio, which is what I'm uh, on right now, my phone, which I was just showing you is open. I have uh, my OneDrive. I have my Vault. Uh, hard drives, very large external hard drives, and I have Mylio Drive is almost has all 80,000 of my uh, photos available in it. And what Mylio Drive is here to do is to help, especially out when um, you need to sync with some level of speed and performance. So if you are a new Mylio Photos Plus user, especially, and you only have one device and you're trying to now synchronize a new device, you want to add a phone, you want to add a tablet, a second computer, a family member's device. As you start adding these devices, one of the things that used to be true with Mylio Photos is you would have to keep the source device open and on with Mylio running to get a sync to happen. Now, over time, we did things to make Mylio work in the background. So if you're on a desktop, maybe it doesn't need to be open if you have the background service running. Um, but that requires some level of understanding and technical know-how to know if you've got that running. Um, so often it's easier to just leave it. But once Mylio Drive has been synchronized, it takes the, the uh, optimized version of your library and makes it available on a Mylio server um, to make syncing easier. So you don't need to have all of your devices on. So of my uh, 80,000 files in my library, all but 7,000 of them are right now available on Mylio servers to make it so if I open a device and it's the only device on, I forgot to turn on any of my other devices, whatever has made it to Mylio Drive um, will now be viewable and, and can come down on the screen. So what that effectively does is it makes Mylio work like similar services that depend on the cloud. So Mylio Photos does not depend on the cloud. But we are using the cloud to make it so at least synchronizing feels as if it's based on a similar type of cloud service like Apple Photos or Google Photos. In those products, your uh, your library, the, the truth, the core truth of your library, what do you have, what do you not have, lives on their servers. So the cloud is the core and the heart of your library. It's their, it's their computer. It's their space that you're renting from them. With Mylio Photos, the core of your library, the truth of where stuff is and what is there is on your devices. But we wanted to make sure everyone had the same um, experience of being able to synchronize at least that optimized version of your library to any device, regardless of what else is on. So this is limited to the Mylio Photos Plus plan. So it's a feature of the paid plan. You can also access it and give it a try by using the Mylio Photos Plus trial. Um, so you can see how that works. Um, but that's also required, Mylio Photos Plus is required to get your library to synchronize to all of your devices. Any Mylio Photos plan, can you can add any number of devices. You just can't access the photos that live on other devices until you upgrade to Mylio Photos Plus. And then the Mylio Drive, makes that process of adding the new devices much simpler and much more what you would expect based on what you've experienced in the past through other cloud-based solutions. So it's a little bit of cloud that we've added to our paid service um, to make syncing faster um, and to just keep things accessible when you're on the go. Maybe you only have your phone and your phone is set to catalog only. No problem. Mylio Drive has the optimized versions of your library and you could bring down what you need from the cloud. And because it's cloud, it's always up, it's always available. So you don't have to worry. As long as you have internet access, you would be able to access those files. 
So I'm going to let Dion add a couple of things here. And, and this is one of those areas that I just want to put a couple of caveats out. So one is, is that this is totally optional. It's not on by default. So mm -hmm. you opt in if you want to use Mylio Drive. And if you put things under the Mylio Drive, it's also encrypted, meaning that uh, the files, you know, have to be downloaded and are going to be opened by your device. So there's that level of protection. Um, with that in mind, what this is for is to make it more convenient when you're on the go. So Osiris gave you a great example of you're traveling and maybe you're, the hotel won't allow a peer-to-peer -peer connection. Sometimes you're on public networks and they have limits and they won't let one computer device talk to another. Or maybe uh, your computer at home, maybe there's a power outage and your, you know, your NAS didn't restart and you can't access things. So this is just a, a backup method of access. It's still going to use the fastest method possible. So when you're home and you're on your home network, uh, we, fat, we, we will use that home network in full speed to sync. This is just a, a fallback method that is was put in place because of user feedback that there was times that they didn't want to have to leave a device on at home or they forgot to leave a device on when they were traveling and this gives them that access. Dion, is there anything you'd like to add about the functionality or the, the privacy uh, choices we put in place here? Uh, yeah, so one other thing is Miley Drive um, is not a backup. Um, so if you're in Milio and you look at your protection status, Milio Drive would not be considered a backup. Um, uh, so um, uh, you should still have a vault. You should still have your files locally. Um, if you want to clean up your iPhone camera roll, you should still back them up to a USB drive. The, the, the images on Milio Drive are optimized originals. They're not the same size as, your, um, the, uh, as the originals that you should. So, and that's never a good idea to get uh, rid of those. Um, other than that, the Miley Drive files are encrypted per file per account. Um, so even if you upload the same file twice, it's two different encryption keys. Um, um, so people can't say, okay, you have this one file from one user and another file from another user is the same just based on the fact that the files are the same because the encryption keys are different per file and they're obviously different per user. And um, uh, we, um, and it's uh, encrypted on both our side as well as the provider side. So nobody has access to those files except for you. And we obviously don't scan them or try and use them for email or anything like that. Yeah, we, we, what we try to do here is a good balance. So at no extra cost with the Mylia Photos <clears throat> Plus plan, you know, I have half a million pictures up there and it means that on a smartphone with not a lot of space, I could choose a folder and download optimized images and I can run a slideshow or I can make a print or I could post to a social network if I see something I need. Um, I can generate a shared album. So it gives me all of that on the go access. But as Dion said, this is not a full backup, uh, but we are providing, there's a lot of people who are afraid of cloud storage as they should be. And that's why we're not really calling this a cloud. Uh, I, I think we've put more levels of encryption on both sides and your devices and everything else needed for this to work that um, many people who don't feel comfortable with the traditional cloud storage approach find this convenient and it's a great option. So it's something that you can opt into if you want to use it with your plan. And uh, if you are an existing Mylio Photos Plus user, the um, it I turned it on very simply by going up to my notifications. This is going to have notifications from all the album sharing I just did, but there was just a notification here and I clicked it and I agreed and it turned on and it started working. So yeah. the, the other alternative to turn it on is to go into settings and sync. And um, there's a button there to turn it on that uh, like sync with Miley Drive is at the bottom. Yep. Yep. Yep, it's turned on now, so there's not a button. So <laughs> you would just remove it if you want to remove it, but don't remove it since you've already set, set it up. Yep. But speaking and of drives, Angela, I think uh, JC is up next to talk about travel drives and guided import, right? That is correct. Yeah, I, I want to add one more thing is that my library is pretty large. I mean, it's not as big as Rich's, but 86,000 photos and, you know, it and I, I didn't leave it on overnight. It's been moving pretty quickly. So uh, Milo Drive seems to have a, intensely good speeds, especially if you've ever tried to move something from one device to another through Apple Photos. Sometimes that can take a really long time. 
but this is a very fast speed. So uh, good job engineers for getting that to be so quick. And no kidding. Awesome stuff.